Hello and welcome to the 2024, no, 2023 YouTuber Maker's Secret Santa. It's that time of year again, where the names of these fine people down here get put into a hat and get picked at random to have to make a present for her. And I've been assigned a name, it is Ali Spagnola. I'm sure you've heard or know of her creation. She's a music maker, comedian, YouTuber, aficionado. And yeah, we've got to make something for her today. But before that, let's have a recap of what's been going on in the YouTuber's Secret Santas over the last few years. The first year I made a triple-headed long Furby for the Hacksmith and received some musical shoes from Kids Invent Stuff. The following year I made a musical cat piano for it. Stephanie Explains It All and received the bass jacket from the one and only Mr. Colin Furs. The following year we changed it up a bit and made this electromechanical logo machine for this Otoni and received the butt keyboard from hell from the Tested Crew. Last year I built this etcher sketch out of an old flip dot display from a bus for Kids Invent Stuff and received these expertly crafted little little flat blade screwdrivers from this Otoni which I still love very much. So yeah, Ali is a musician and a maker, but she's also got a second YouTube channel that is about exercise and getting fit. Stuff that I have no idea about at all. I'm just hoping that if I climb enough ladders in the day and carry enough heavy boxes with uh, things inside it, that'll kind of keep me relatively trim. But as you can tell, that's as far as my fitness regime goes. So it got me thinking, what the heck should I make for Ali? So I sat down with my notebook that I've written a bunch of ideas down over the years, and one of them sort of made sense for this. Don't get me wrong, I've built some fitness related music machines in the past. However, I don't think they're gonna be very friendly to box up and post really quickly over to a mirror. So we're gonna make something a little bit more compact. A few years ago now on Gumtree, I found a listing for a one careful owner used coffin. And I thought, wow, I've always wanted a coffin. So I bought the coffin. For quite a while, it didn't really do much. I used to lay in it and contemplate life and it finally made its way into one of my music videos. But it was something I always wanted to do with that. It was to make a heart rate powered synthesizer coffin thing. The idea is you lay in it, you put a heart rate monitor on it and it starts playing the music based on your heart rate. And the joke being when the music stops, your heart rate has stopped, so you're gonna need the coffin anyway. So we're gonna take the concept of that idea and we're gonna cater it towards a more portable version for Ali for Christmas. How are we gonna do that, you ask? Well, let's have a look at this thing. It's an off the shelf hobbyist heart rate monitor that you can plug into microchips like the Arduino, this, that, and the other. This one is the pulse sensor and I bought it from Pimeroni and it works pretty well. You can stick it anywhere on your body that may have a pulse uh, but right now I'm going to be popping it on my finger. Right now I have it programmed into this programmable microchip the Arduino and it comes with the example code loaded into it that comes with the heart rate sensor. And all that does is make this LED flash every time your heart beats. So yeah there we go that's the end of the video. Well there we go. This heart rate monitor right here has three wires coming from it. There is a plus voltage that is about five volts. There's a ground, which you plug into the ground, and then there's a signal. The signal isn't a digital signal, it's an analog signal. So we can look at that signal on the oscilloscope. Let's wire the oscilloscope into the heart rate monitor sensor thingamajiggy. Pop it back on my finger. Oh, I'm dead. Hey, hey, as you can see, that is, that's my heart rate. It's quite quick, I've been getting myself excited. <laughs> All the Arduino is doing is turning this into a digital signal by only listening to it when it goes over a certain point. So when the voltage goes over to that black line, it will turn the LED on. It's as simple as that. Actually, that's got me thinking. Since this sends out analog voltages, we could plug it into something else. For this part of the video, I built this synth module for the modular synthesizer behind it. The idea was it would take your heartbeat and transfer it into voltages so it, the synthesizer would make music. But I managed to break my uh, heart rate sensor and I couldn't get a replacement in time. So video coming soon. So yeah, what's the plan with this? Well, you know, when you go into a gym, I have been once, surprise, surprise, it was to use the vending machine and they're all doing their weights and it's like, <laughs> get fit. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Motivate. <laughs> Get motivated. <laughs> Get fit. Well, you know, there's a lot of motivational drumbeat heavy music in there. So what we're going to be making is a heart rate based drum machine. Mm. So here's a test setup. I've got the uh, heart rate monitor on my finger and that is going into this Arduino right here. What this Arduino is doing is reading my heart rate and then every time it hears a heart rate, it goes from one LED to the next. Some of the smarty pants amongst you may notice that this is a pretty quick heart rate and you'll be right. Uh, that's because I'm on a load of rides. No, I'm joking. This Arduino is also doubling my heart rate so it's taking the heart rate in it's timesing it by two and then turning it into this little sequence we're going to use this sequence of leds to sequence drums so ali spagnola can play drums to a heartbeat well, well that's the idea but it is it's a little bit buggy 
Like if I wiggle around a little bit, it gets a bit excited, but it just adds to the Christmas fun. Right, so we've got the Arduino doing it on the breadboard. We now mean to make it permanent and a little bit more functional. So we get out the drill and start drilling a load of holes into this Hammond die cast enclosure. We fit a load of switches onto the front of this. This is so we can make a switch matrix to be able to program the drums real time. This is the strip board. We're going to put the circuit on and we can admire our workmanship before we put the nine volt battery socket on there. We're not going to bother using a switch for it, so we, to turn it on and off, just take the battery in and out. Anyway, we put diodes on the back of this switch matrix, so it makes it into a one-way street for the electricity. There's information on these kind of sequences below. I've done loads of videos on this kind of stuff, so if you're interested, check out the links below. Anyway, I solder all of the switch matrix together, uh, so the inputs go down and then the outputs go along. So when you flick the switch, it chooses whether you want the input to go out of that output, if you get what I mean. It, it'll make sense in a moment. Anyway, we wire the wires into that. These connect over to the connectors, which will ultimately connect to the circuit board. But look how fancy that is. I even wax laced it. Oh, baby. The next thing we do is work out the circuit board. I soldered this big socket on for the Arduino and used this drill bit to clear up the bits of pins that I don't want to connect. Connecting some connectors. This one was for the battery to see if it would turn on. And then this one is the output that connects to the LEDs that are on the front panel. Let's test that. Oh, you can see that the top LED LEDs. The top eight LEDs are what are wired in, and they look exactly the same as the ones that were on the Arduino breadboard. Well, you can see it's the same thing, but uh, looking a bit more fancy. Anyway, those are the inputs, and they go into the switches, and then these ones here are the output LEDs that are going to trigger drum sounds. If we turn this top row of switches off, you'll notice that the output LED that's next to those turns off. And then if we push ones on, it would be programming the drum beat like. <laughs> This is a WAV trigger. You load sounds onto the SD card that goes into it, and then you can put voltages into it to trigger the sounds. So those LEDs that are lighting up on the output are also going to wire into the WAV trigger to trigger drum sounds so we can make drum beats with this machine. Then I designed a thing that goes around the outside to sort of make it look like a heart, but it doesn't really look like a heart. But we 3D printed all the parts, put them together, and noticed it looked like bird person. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway, I spray it, put some doodles on the front so uh, Ali Spagnola knows what the heck everything is. It went together pretty well as well. I was quite pleased that I managed to measure all the heart pieces right. And that looks relatively neat. Ish. 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 But it'll be covered up. I epoxied a speaker in the back so it doesn't need to be plugged into other speakers so it doesn't be dangling around when she's exercising on the treadmill, which we she will be using this all the time. Right? Well, 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 well. It's pretty much done. I'd say it looks less like a heart and more like a pair of red bum cheeks. But apart from that, it's a heart rate. Drum synthesizer the thing of a jiggy. Let's put a necklace on it and give it a quick go because we really need to get it posted or it will never blooming turn up in time. Right, let's give this thing a go, shall we? This is it right here. An absolutely beautiful necklace, if I don't say so myself. It's a bit lower than a heart, but she could adjust the chain if it's a bit uncomfortable. Plug in the sensor at the bottom. And then because I skimped on an on switch, you've got to plug in the nine volt battery and it should start turning on. Okay, let's get going. I gotta do the river dance. It works! So my heartbeat is controlling the drum beat and how quick it's going. It's a tiny bit sketchy, maybe we should have gone with the average approach, but it's a bit of fun, it's chaotic. And then I added a, sam I added a workout sample. <laughs> and then if I unplug this, it stops. So it is my, it is my heart rate. Workout, workout. I'm trying to! Work out! Work out! Work out! Work out! Work out! Anyway, let's get this posted. Work out! Anyway, the heart rate drum machine is now on the seven seas over to Ali Spagnola. We've got to go over to the museum because we have a special visitor. <laughs> <laughs> What could it be? Oh no, yeah. It's a wild animal, so anything could happen. 
Well, I hope you're ready for this. Well, I hope I'm ready for this. I, I don't know whether I'd ever be ready for this, but let's let's open it up. How do I open it? Am I going? Take on the take on the uh, orange tape. Whoa, my God. Holy crud. What the deuce? No way. You've got the holes. That is insane. Oh, my God. Turn on the Furby with the switch at the back. The Furby will do what Furbies do. All plugged in. Yep. Batteries on. Music. Is that you, James? Is that you talking? That's amazing. Oh, its eyes go out and then... Sweet bloody... Oh my god, I'm not looking inside, but I can see inside, but that's... What the deuce? Let's open the uh, front... Oh my god! It's already opened it for me! <laughs> that is the bloody coolest. I am so pleased to know you, James. Oh, gee, heck. That is the coolest thing. Blumenek, this thing is absolutely incredible. James Bruton has completely outdone himself with this thing. I'm, I'm really lucky to have something like this. If you want to see more information on how James Bruton built this amazing oversized Furby, well, that's how the YouTuber maker Secret Santa works. You check through the playlist and there's the video from James Bruton of him making this thing. If you actually want to see this in person, well, you can because this is going to be displayed at this museum. It's not obsolete. It's a museum I've been building for the last couple of years. The opening times and information and all that is available below. It will be wired in amongst all of the other interesting technology that you can come and look at over here. There is more information on the heart rate drum synthesizer below. I'm really interested to see what Ali Spagnola thinks to this weird musical instrument. And there'll be another video on the heart rate synthesizer module that I didn't quite finish for the time of the end of this video. Anyway, until next time, I'm Luck Mum No Computer. Don't be scared to try it and have a lovely time. Yeah, I made a heart rate drum synth for Alice Spagnola for Christmas Day. I hope she uses it every single time she exercises or I may be offended, yeah. Cause it's really light and practical, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, it looks like a pair of red bum cheeks I really tried to make it look like a heart All oh, the songs ended, see you later!